I love to go to my baker's. Don't you just adore the magical experience at your local bread maker? A baker can do almost anything. He can do sour and salty and sweet blessed dough. And he carefully molds it and folds it till it starts to grow. And little by little it acquires that magical, mystical glow. This acoustical dough is perfectly formed and slowly transformed in a muffin or a croissant with an exotic stuffing or a pastry made with Chinese yam or my personal favorite, a donut with jam. Just the thought of it makes my whole body crave it. I want to see it and smell it and end up savoring it. A heavenly creation made by the hands of a man with the most noble of vocations. A baker can do almost anything, but once lived a man who could do absolutely everything. Sour flour and sour Bavarian red brown bee honey to make the Queen's speeches funny. <clears throat> a man with such enormous power, he could bake a lime cake by just mixing water and flour. He aimed to provide proverbial passion for people, for his creations were where dreams became real. A man so mysterious, that when it came to making bread he never joked, he was always serious. He made all kinds of bread from the most simple recipe to the most luxurious. He dedicated his mind, body and soul to perfecting the baking science, to creating new recipes using sometimes, when needed, some very awkward appliance. He dedicated his whole life into baking, cooking with the heart and people captivating. Wonderful tastes over which customers sometimes even fought. Delicious, ambitious, the consumers became vicious. Until the bread maker made a calming cupcake. To reduce the stake of being hit by a cake or even a potential bone break. His strive was not for glory or fame. It was a personal quest to find the truth behind a historical claim that a mythical dame had once created a magical recipe that was so good it would make you insane. A taste so sweet that nobody would dare to complain. And who would, with all those endorphins rushing through your cerebral membrane? You might say that such a quest is not sane. But it is said that this magical recipe made you laugh until you had tremendous stomach pain. A magical concoction of flour and spices that would make you addicted even more than the most vicious of vices. Bread so exquisite of taste so intense that when you ate it, you would lose all mental sense. The baker patiently extracted the sizzle from exotic ingredients that would make anyone twizzle. He searched with all his might that long-lost blend to make the most bedazzling bite. What a delight! It's quite right for a cozy night. His journey took him to faraway lands, to places with green olive trees and white marble sands. He purchased almonds from Spain to experiment on his brain. A, a big plane. He used malt flour from Kazakhstan for his experiments on the pituitary gland. In Ecuador, he discovered passion fruit and found out that it did not make an ugly man look cute. He even made some coffee cakes with cardamom from the faraway lands of Guatemala, which tasted so magnificent that it was made a sin in the Jewish Kabbalah. 
So many delicious pastries he invented, his little basement laboratory had to be severely augmented. The bread factory was born and you have not got a clue how fast it grew. It was a great success and each time the eager public would assess his new recipe and bless with a rotund yes. Each and every one of the creations that gave the baker such anxious stress. No matter how many recipes he invented, he could not find the ingredients of that mythical dough he knew was fermented. He no longer smiled, and the idea of never finding the magic bread made him turn wild. And he choked. His bakers were never allowed to slow, for them it was the only work mode. It was all grey, no happiness, they never got to play, or see the light of day. It was all grey. Obsessed with his fruitless quest, the baker went into complete isolation, seeking absolute concentration. In a last effort to find what was missing in his inexistent creation, nobody saw him ever again. But one day... An explosion brought the whole factory to a roaring commotion. At first all the bakers were paralyzed with fear. Some even cried sugar-coated tears. A cloud came gushing down from the lab that sent everyone who was screaming into a deep state of dreaming. And everyone became gleaming and steaming with joy. <laughs> In the lab, the only thing left was a bowl with a bubbling sourdough, out of which the bakers baked the most ostentatiously delicious, scrumptiously temptatious, the most mind-boggling capricious bread anyone had ever tasted. Nobody saw the magic bread maker again, but some people say that sometimes he comes out to play and run stray around the factory floor, causing havoc in the place he so much adored. Some say it's the absence of fun in his life that caused him to come back for a bun. But the truth is, that every so often he comes out with haste to have a little taste of the phenomenal sweets, just to give himself a few little treats. Make no mistake, our magic recipe is always real and never fake. And learning how to make it can give you a really bad headache. But for us at the bread factory, it's a piece of cake.